AKD certain of securing the majority, complaints to police against fake voting, Delith remains positive, ignores opinion polls, Rohini appeals for a second preference to be given to Sajith, SJB media big shots alarmed, intense pressure for a Ranil Sajith union, powerful businessmen mediate in secret talks, right wing facing doom in the face of common enemy NPP, Patali's ex-partners now with Ranil issue a warning. What AKD says about Ranil Sajith union talks. SJB openly bats for Namal. The leader, Deshita Magakiena, Prorti Pelagasma. AKD certain of securing the majority. Postal voting in the 2024 presidential election began on Wednesday. All the candidates have heaped promises on state sector employees to leave them stranded, says presidential candidate Dilith Jayawira. As opinion polls are released on a daily basis, fake voting too, takes place even at tuition classes and is shown on YouTube, WhatsApp and other social media platforms. Noting such to be serious violations of the law, the election chief has ordered the police to strongly deal with the offenders. According to analysts, between 30 and 40% of the voters still remain undecided, as noted by Dilith yesterday. But all the candidates claim victory. SM Marikar says Sajith Premadasa has gone past 7 million votes and it is unthinkable where he would stop. At a rally in Kolonawa, he requested those who think of voting for Ranil to cast their votes for the SJB candidate. But Rohini Kaviratni appealed to supporters of both Ranil Wickremesinghe and the SLPP to give their second preference vote for Sajith. So, Marikar's claim of victory is annulled by her appeal. Several members of Sajith's campaign team discussed the latest trends at a watering hole at Thalawathagoda just recently. A media expert among them said they feel a big victory for them when they are in office, but once out in the open, that changes. He said it was rather confusing. Others agreed with him. In the meantime, Anura Kumara de Sanayake has already made himself the president. At a News First political talk show, he said he was certain to get more than 50% of votes and counting the second preference would not be needed. It will be an even bigger victory at the general election, he said. Anyway, the incumbent president's team is campaigning on the strength of a catchphrase that people are secretly with Ranil. They don't let go even when a single word looks out of place. So, candidates seem to use words carefully. Intense pressure for a Ranil Sajith union... All the others are now impeded by the trend for the JVP-led National People's Power. Ranil and Sajith are coming under intense pressure to ignore their craving for positions and join together immediately. Initiated by Thalatha Athukarala, that pressure has built up considerably. The latest to join it was State Minister Arundika Fernando. Demanding Ranil and Sajith unite, he told Parliament that he would function independently hereafter. Before him, Thalatha resigned from her seat after telling the House that the AKD-led NPP is posing a grave threat. Arundika said thus further, Don't be surprised if he aligns with Sajith in a matter of days after saying that he didn't get a positive response from Ranil. Both their saloon doors remain open all the time. Patali's longtime companion Wanasinghe, who threw his support behind Ranil recently, said on Facebook that it was time for all right-wing groups to come together. He compared it to all the living things clinging onto a single log caught in a big flood. The flood he refers to could be none other than the wave of support for the NPP, says Colombo University's senior lecturer Sumith Chaminda. Writing for the weekend Anida, Chaminda says it is clear the NPP candidate is among the top two contenders. In the meantime... Senior attorney and social researcher Shiral Lakthilake says the NPP appears to be the sole existent political force due to the disunity in the political South. Referring to that, Chaminda says that Thalatha, Nishantha Warnasinghe, as well as Lakthilake propose, directly or indirectly, that the other right-wing groups should rally with the right-wing candidate with a lesser public approval. He also opines that doing away with the Vinebridge should not take a violent shape. 
As right-wing rivals fight in the middle of the Vine Bridge, the left wing should refrain from disrupting them and even should encourage them. As Napoleon Bonaparte once said, never interrupt your enemy when he is making a mistake. Likewise, the best strategy is to maintain Ranil's election campaign supported by Warner Singhe, Lakhtha Lake and others on par with Sajith's campaign. For the left wing, the more acceptable thing to happen in the next three weeks is the powerful right-wing candidate Sajith's campaign suffering a setback while the weaker candidate Ranil's campaign going up. As they analyse it thus, some with Sajith says Ranil's camp takes AKD seriously and spreads it that he is going to win. Countering it all is SJB Mujibur Rahuman, who told Parliament that they were not silly to join with Ranil, with the entire country well knowing that Sajith will win. He strongly rejected speculation that Ranil and Sajith will ally before the election. From the United National Party, Kalutara district leader Nandana Gunatilake, a former JVP presidential candidate, stressed the need for the two parties to join forces. That is the wish of the second and third tiers of the SJB, as shown in Thalatha's resignation speech, Nandana told the media. Shiral also says on Facebook that if the two sides fight over positions, a right-wing camp should be formed as opposed to the now-established leftist camp. The existing one cannot face the NPP's challenge in the future, he adds. AKD conceded that such secret alliance talks were taking place to prevent a certain win for the NPP. However, time has now passed for such conspiracies, he said at a recent rally. It is said that certain top businessmen are trying to bridge the gap between Ranil and Sajith. Further, taking Thalatha's warning seriously, some in the SJB discuss such a union. They are even ready to take a firm decision if Sajith doesn't take it seriously. All say the JVP was behind the killing of MP Amarakirthi Athukarale and the violence unleashed across the country. SJB openly bats for Namal. Now, there is talk that certain SLPP MPs are going to leave Ranil and return to the party. The irony of it is that it has been carried in social media not by Namal's camp, but by the SJB. According to those social media posts, seven MPs met Basil at an undisclosed location in Colombo for talks about the crisis in the government and the possibility of a reunion. It was Arundika who fired the first salvo, with the SJB social media team taking up the state ministers having become independent. Anyway, just like the NPP says, they may divide into several camps, but their principles remain the same. Anyway, we are into the last two weeks before the election. The JVP-led NPP is nicely placing itself in the ground. Sajith's entry was marked by a lack of any proper planning, with an apparent one-man show only. His camp finds fault with the others, while committing the same wrongs themselves. Now they have come to know what is in store for them. The country's stability is shaky and could collapse by one wrong move. The result could be the same as the one in 2022, or much worse. Therefore, everybody should heed the future of 22 million people before planning whatever to do. That's it for today. The leader, they share the magic in a pro-tipelagasma.